Hi guys, I'm back. So this is how my door looks like after two hours. <laughs> so it was two hours, not one hour. So see how nicely it actually more than double. So all you have to do this, you have to punch it down to release all the air. See, this is how good that yeast I suggested you to buy it. So all you need to do is you have to punch this down to release all the air. So, yeah. Don't worry, I already washed my hands. Just to release all the air. So I have here my baking tray. I line it with my wax paper. So now I need to um, so for kneading this to so making the the final. And so you have you don't need to dust your surface. Okay. So luckily I found the rolling pin. So this time you will need your rolling pin to flatten this down to make it more finer. Yeah. You just have to you don't really have to do this for a long time. So, yeah. so normally I fold my dough into three. Like that. So for this one, I'm going to divide this into two because I want to make two different shapes. So guys, this is how I'm going to roll my bread to make yung ano yung basto na tinatawag before ko siya hati-hati into um, maybe like 12 pieces of rolls for this one. So I'll just make my natural rolls that yun. Yung regular kong ginagawa. So it's just simple and easy how to roll this one. So this is called baston. We call this baston. I don't know how to call it in the garden, but in Visaya we call it baston. So, so because I'm aiming to have like 12, 12 rolls for this one. So I'm gonna cut first in the middle. Okay. If you want to have it perfect, so you can always wait to have a perfect uh, portion. But the thing with homemade, you don't really have to be like super accurate, unlike commercial, because of course it's for business, so you have to be accurate for your weight. So. So let me count if I've made 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So before I'm going to roll this, I'm going to flump this. I want to find texture on top. So what I do is just like flatten it like that. So making bread really need takes time, but yeah, but it's enjoyable to be honest. So like now that you're not doing anything because of the lockdown, so you have time. So just press in the middle, para hindi siya hollow sa gitna, and then you just how to make it fall. Just do it like that. So normally if I'm in a hurry, I'll do two like this. But if I want to take my time, I'll just do it like that. So you see, it's it's nice and fine. Yeah. So then you just have to 
close the bottom like that. So, so guys, you can always put a filling inside. Whatever you like, you can put cheese or you want to put a piece of chocolate or anything. But this is just plain. So the thing with plain or not sweet, you can always choose um, a spread you like, like jam. But for me, I always preferred butter. So I like butter for my bread. So jam or peanut butter. So guys, this these are all what I made. So ideally, this is not the right tray for this one. It has to be, you know, those a rectangular deep one. This is shallow one, but I don't have that one here, so I just use this one. So whatever available, you can even use a, um, you know, those iron skillet one you can also use this one but so whatever you have there you can just always use so this one i have so i'm gonna put this back in the oven for another proofing so if you have a dish towel at home you can cover it with dish towel but i don't have dish towel here so i'll just use a kitchen paper to cover up and put it back in the oven for another proofing for maybe half an hour so guys i have found our um iron skillet so this is one option that you can use at home if you don't have um, available baking tray the proper baking tin so this one can also use this is too heavy so what I'm gonna do I'm going to dust on the bottom like that before I put my uh, dough there so then to avoid Get to stick on the bottom so it's easy to come off once it's cooked yeah so you just have to dust around it so i don't need to put um i don't need to put any wax paper in this one so i'll just have to transfer all my because it's too big see i don't like it like that it's too big so so it's not sticking at the bottom so just to like transfer it like that so then it's nice when they are you know in a small tray so then they will come stick together once they're done it looks better like that all right so now they all fit together so i'm gonna cover it up and put it back in the oven so guys for the second half what I'm gonna do with this, I'm not gonna make like a roll what I did earlier because I was making like a plain brown ball. So this one, I make it round and I'm going to flatten this one. Keep as much as possible, you have to keep the circle, circle in shape so then, because I'm planning to make like a croissant uh, rolls. Not perfectly croissant, but it's just something different. I just have to flatten this and make it just keep it a circle like a pizza dough you have to flatten it like a pizza dough like that so flip it over and hold it like that you see it's not good I can see the middle is there's hole so I didn't press it down enough you need to make sure that it's not hollow in the middle. So, I have to press this down like that. So, for the thickness, you can just you can always just estimate. So, make it keep it like circle and shape. Then, I'm gonna show you in a while after I'm doing this of how I cut this. Alright, so it's not perfect circle, but that's how it looks. So what I'm going to do, or what you need to do, you're going to cut into half or make, I am aiming to make like 16 parts of this. So it's just like you're cutting pizza hut. So the way it looks, it looks like a pizza dough. So I'm going to cut it into 16 slices and I'm going to show you how I'm going to roll it later on. Ayan na guys, so nahati ko na siya into 16. So we just have to get one in there. Uh, just like that. And I didn't cut it properly. 
put it here and it's because it's too so you're gonna have to press it down a little bit make it more wider there so like that right so the way to roll it so you're gonna have to put the shiny side this is the bottom so you're gonna roll it that way because we want the shiny side will be on the top so you're gonna roll it like that so it's a bit hard because i'm holding my hand my phone but don't worry i'm gonna wash my hands again after i do this one so that's how it looks so it's not perfect uh, croissant because this is not really a croissant texture uh, you know this is not the croissant dough croissant is more complicated to make but it's just want I want something different shape so I'm gonna put this to my tray so this one here I have one here made I so you can choose you can make star bread or money whatever shape you like so this one here um this is like a flower but this is like pumpkin so next time I'll do that if I have I really put a pumpkin filling inside but it's just trying to show you of other shape that you can make if you like right so I'm gonna move this back here so it's closer so I'm gonna show you towards the end once it's all done okay Ayan guys so it took quite a while because it's quite complicated to make this but since it's weekend and I have no work today because it's Saturday so I have time so there's a reason why I'm making this as well so I have something to do rather than lying on the so I'm gonna put this in the cold oven again to so I am guys sinilagay ko sila sa oven for the final proofing but sige ko ya bago ko sila lulutuin so I guess maybe like half an hour or so but you just have to keep an eye on it until they double in size see you in a while so guys it's time to check our bread how are they look like at this time all right mm. okay it looks like it, ha it has double in size this one this one is not yet mm. okay need to wait for more so guys it's been like half an hour past now since i put this final rising my door so i'm gonna take this out now so look at that it has doubled in size so by this time i can start the oven so i'm gonna put this here so let's set the oven if you're using fahrenheit like we have here so i'm gonna set it to okay there's something wrong in this oven it's not so I'm gonna set it to bake. Oh my gosh. What's going on? Okay, I think it's not ready yet. What's going on in this? Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna set the opening to so that's 350 so that's 350 Fahrenheit so if you are using um, a degree Celsius so you can put it into 100 175 so for now I'm gonna brush this the top so unfortunately guys I don't have I could not find the brush here because since the lockdown, the second lockdown has or the quarantine has been extended, so I decided to go back to work and stayed and stay in there. And then yesterday, when the commissioner, police commissioner, has announced the the EQ quarantine has, is going to be extended again for another two weeks, so okay. So I asked my boss if I could stay in my house, in my boarding house this weekend, because it's just like. It's kind of boring there is to stay in the guest room not doing nothing 
all day long saturday and sunday so i decided to come back here in my house and i could not so that is why i in here we don't have a weighing scale and so now there is no there was a brush before but i don't know where it is now so i'm just using the kitchen towel so this is not super hygienic to do so for your egg wash or for the wash on the top of this so there are different uh, option that you can choose so now because there's no brush so i choose milk to brush on the top but you can use you can also use um, melted butter if you want it to be shiny and you can use eggs or you can use a mixture of egg and um, milk for this one so or and the other one is um, a cornstarch that like what i did the previous one um, just you put in the sieve and you sift it here so it's just powdery if you want so yeah although it's not super hygienic this tissue or this kitchen paper but it's just that I has, there's nothing I can use so that's why I'm using this so if you noticed now they are all sticking together because it's this is the final proofing so it's just like half an hour I guess so right so right here I have the other shape the other shape that I made so if you see that it's a croissant in shape so it's quite complicated this one it really takes time to make it but it's fun it's enjoyable so this one this is the one I made this is a pumpkin shape that you can make you can use different shapes right so